Hey guys, how you going? Um, yes, it looks like I've got a Zod ZOHD Dart XL Extreme. I've heard a bit of, heard some good things about this, so I thought I might pick it up um, and give it a shot. It's um, this one I bought here is uh, the PNP, I believe. It comes with everything except for your radios. So this one here has um, well, it's got a wingspan of one meter. So it's a decent size. Um, it comes with a 1300kV motor, a 30 amp ESC, a couple of Metal Gear 9 gram Metal Gear digital servos, a 9 by 4.5 prop. And um, yeah, you got to add your battery to it and your receiver. So I'm going to pull it apart and have a bit of a look in here. It's a good looking craft, that's why I thought I'd get it. And a lot of reviews are saying how well it flies and how well made it is all right so this is the first time i've actually opened this so three boxes in here so this has got the prop in it don't know what these pieces are could be for the camera by the look of that. Some stickers in here. And a little bit of hardware. I think this could be the wings, just because of the size of it. So, no it's not, it's the fuselage. These. It's definitely a nice looking piece of kit. It's got magnets that hold the hatch on. So you got a camera mount spot up here for all your for a actual GoPro. I don't know whether it's this Osmond. So there the Osmo the Osmo actually does the Osmo actually does fit in there. So that's not a bad, a bad thing at all. That's good. So your servos attach into that. You got a Z OHD 30 amp ESC, and we got our motor, 1300 kV motor. Very nice, very well put together piece. The battery tray is huge. You can fit, fit a very, very large battery in here. Here's a 5,000 milliamp Turnergy. Just as a comparison. So you could get some really good flight time out of this, out of this craft by the look. And you got ventilation holes. All right, so the last box has to have the wings. And I'd say it's got the instruction manual. And I'm not sure what else. All right, so we got our instructions. And there's the type of cameras. It fits a GoPro. It also fits the DJI, the, the DJI Osmo Action. Fits pretty neatly in there. Tight, tightish fit, but it fits. Let's have a look at the wing. I'll get a wing out and we'll have a look. Well protected, there's, there's this, this is the wing. So you've got your connection, your electrical connections go into the side here. It's very nice. Metal Gear Servo. There's a, there's a there's a cutout there for a video transmitter by the look. I picked this up for a three hundred Australian dollars. So the other wings obviously exactly the same. All right, so your fins are plastic. Oh, sorry, not plastic. They're they're uh, foam. 
it's good hard foam just like you would normally expect yeah it looks like a very easy build so I still need for this machine I, there's a few parts I still need to fly it I could get it in the air as it is with a radio receiver but I don't have a spare receiver at the moment I'll look at getting an R9 for this maybe an R9 Slim Plus which is what I've got for the FX over there FX61 Hmm, and a video transmitter. Long range again. Alright, there we go. Looks good. Stay tuned.